The Suns coming off of a Thursday night loss to Boston. The Nets coming off of a Friday night win against the Celtics. And this is one brutal road trip. Kyrie Irving along two, and that breaks the ice and gets the Nets on the board. So you love that about Kyrie. When he's competitive defensively, when you add to what he does offensively, what a force he is. A defensive breakdown for the Nets. Landry Shamit got caught under the basket, and he was no match for DeAndre Ayton. Back the other way, though, Irving now, two for two. <laughs> you see the speed, the closing speed of Jeff Green, a guy who has filled an awful lot of holes for this Brooklyn Nets team. Multi-positional. Gliding to the goal, another bucket for Kyrie Irving off the shake and bake dribble. 16 teams make the playoffs. That ain't what we're going for. And Booker told me he feels the same way. He said the goal is not to win in the first round, not to win in the second round, but Bob, he said we're trying to win it all. On just about every team that he has gone to, and then the effect that he has had on that team when he leaves that franchise, what's left behind as Aiton will go to the line for a three-point play opportunity. Aiton gets Harris caught on a switch. They lob it to the front of the rim, and Aiton lays it in. A beautiful find. Landry Shamit off the front rim. Easy cruise to the lane for Devin Booker for Coach of the Year in the NBA. They both have to be, I would think, on anyone's, say, top three or four on the ballot. I don't think there's any question, and obviously you'd also consider what, what Quinn Schneider has done in Utah's. Yeah, his first look at a three, he's three for seven overall, he's got three boards already. Game looks like it comes so easy to Devin Booker. Speaking of which, Kyrie Irving with a chance for a three-point play. Again, eight size advantage inside. Taps his own miss in, DeAndre Ayton. One of the reasons they waited so long in that February 5th Toronto game was they wanted to use the majority of the minutes available to KD in the second half should they need it. And this is a quality opponent. These fringe players to play such key minutes for them, Bob. Well, they've had a lot of different stay-ready groups. The Nets have had 32 different starting lineups this season. So, uh, the 27 that Brooklyn has on the board so far. Almost caught under the backboard, but adjusting was Cam Johnson to lay one in in transition. And he didn't find DeAndre Ayton, who had a young guard right in front of him trying to contend with DeAndre Ayton. It was the point Monte made to Malika. And there's the matchup at the other end in reverse. Blake Griffin had Chris Paul caught on his hip. As Griffin can't hit the straightaway three. Chris Paul coming back the other way. He'll take a step back from the elbow and knock it down. You know, he's over three per game. It, it's when he first returned from the Achilles, to me, it was the last piece of his game that came back was the passing. Nice spin move by DeAndre Ayton. Nice spin move by DeAndre Ayton. As he bodied up Kevin Durant. That's his fifth bucket. Blake Griffin at the other end answers. And, you know, Cam Johnson is a shot maker. He can stretch the defense. He's long. He's athletic. He can guard a little bit. We've seen him make a couple of cuts. And there goes Kevin Durant to work. A lot. And Jordan couldn't find the feed from Kyrie Irving. Cameron Payne back the other way. Booker wide open for three. He connects again. That last possession by Phoenix with no Aiton on the floor, right? They went five out as Kevin gets a tough bucket to go. They're taking advantage when the Nets leave these three-point shooters alone. Booker hit one. Kaminsky hit one. Now Payne gets in the act. But there's Green swooping to the goal and hammers it down. Kaminsky, that's a brick. Kyrie Irving for three. Got it three-point percentage defense they're 13th and 15th as Kevin goes off the dribble and what I wonder Bob is like yeah we've grinded with the pieces we have but the fact of the matter is the pieces that will play haven't played together and he's right it was sort of a silly question by me down to the last 40 of the first half there's Durant in the mid-range off the window and perfect 
five seconds to go in the half. Here's Durant. Shot fake. Leans in. The tenth follow is there for DeAndre Jordan. D3 game absence with the hamstring strain before he came back a handful of games ago. And they had him basically on a 20-minute pitch count. Aiton tries to seal on Durant. The jump hook is pure. I know he, that is a point of pride for Kevin Durant. He, he loves to guard. He's better, I think, than people think on the defensive end, Kevin. There's DeAndre Jordan working the offensive glass. Booker. Book it from straight away. He is electric when he starts cooking offensively. He's up to 17 as Kyrie Irving stays red hot. Irving does it again. He's got four 40 point games this year for Brooklyn. So he is easily within sight of that number today as Durant will lob one for the throwdown by Jordan. Chris Paul for the lead. He is able to put Phoenix right back on top. Hesitates a little no longer than normal, waits until the switch is made, and Joe Harris has to guard him at the rim. Irving weaving in the lane with the left hand off the glass. Perfectly done. Off balance does not matter for Kevin Durant. Durant glides in for the throwdown. Booker drives it at Jordan with the left hand, swooping in, and he gets it to go. Something, whatever it is. Two different starting lineups, 27 different players. 27 different players. So, so unusual rotations as Kyrie just keeps cooking, like communication. Well, in this league, you don't have much time to say it, and the shot's up before you know it, as Booker is left alone. They both step. Two net defenders off of Devin Booker. We covered Portland in a Western Conference Finals, and Ennis Cantor. Uh, it, you know, Ramadan calendar fell at that particular time. We really just admire the commitment. Uh, if you're going to eat, you're going to get up and do it to the best of your ability. According to Ennis, he just said, I, I would get up before daylight. I do think that Milwaukee and Philadelphia are formidable opponents that they would have to get by. And if they get the number one seed, obviously they only have to get by one of them. Facing up on the defensive specialist, Javon Carter. Takes him in the lane and puts it down. Blake Griffin sees a lane, takes advantage, and he'll go to the free throw line with a chance for three. Into a new regime as Kyrie Irving gets under the bucket, sets up Durant. Yes. Turnovers, like that's the only thing that's pinched him at all in the time missed. Joe Harris drives, misses, and follows. Boy, how about the Suns' schedule? So today, Nets. Tomorrow, Knicks, hottest team in the league. You return home that first game, and it's a brutal one. Booker for three. Two of the big three that are in the lineup today, they have been the offensive story as Griffin lays one in off the bounce pass from Kyrie Irving. Now he gets it back with some help from Bridges. Paul leans in. That pass stolen by Griffin. Griffin the other way, gives it up to Harris, and the reverse is good. Where Kyrie is battling, nice drive, wow. But Kyrie battling Chris Paul every step of the way, making him use clock, work that up. You know, when asked, I, I basically said, I think Brooklyn can do it. Uh, three incredible late game finishers as Joe Harris gets out in transition. Gets it to Booker and gets it back. He'll go at Griffin. Creates some space. Griffin fell back, and the officials weren't falling for, I guess, what they thought was a flop. Three-point territory. Kevin Durant. And 14 of Durant's 